Hi, I'm Evan. Today we're talking about night mode and how to troubleshoot it. So what is night mode? Well, night mode is when the inverter sees less than six volts DC from the PV array and it thinks it's nighttime. So how do we troubleshoot it? Well, there's a couple things you can do before going to site. One thing is you can ask your homeowner to check that the DC disconnect is in the on position and any other disconnects. In addition, make sure that there's no snow on the roof, okay? After all that, create a case online and then head to site. All right, so now that you're on site, we need to de-energize the inverter. Toggle switch off, let it bleed out, turn off the DC disconnect, batteries, and any AC breakers. Remove the covers then and inspect for any damage, right? If no damage or debris, let's replace that top cover. And we wanna check our strings, our PV strings, and open air voltage. So to do that, we remove our positive and negative for each string and check our DC voltage there. So red to red, black to black. I've got 10 volts here and, and 10 optimizers, so that's great. I'm gonna put that back. We're gonna check one string at a time here. Turn on our AC power to the inverter with the toggle switch in the off position. I'm then going to turn the DC disconnect switch on and check the inverter. Make sure that the inverter sees the same voltage we were seeing through setup. Another thing that you can check while the DC switch is in the on position, we'll set our meter to continuity. And as you'll notice, there's these step ladders here on each side of the switch. Uh, so we're gonna check the topmost step to the other side for continuity. And if it all checks out, then the switch is in good shape. All right, so we just finished testing each string individually. So if you have just one string that's giving you voltage issues, it's most likely gonna have, be an issue on the roof. So check your J boxes, your jumpers and any field made crimps. Okay, if it's uh, multiple strings that are having issues, make sure to get on the phone with support and troubleshoot it further with them. All right, hope this helps. Happy hunting.